everybody. Today is January 22nd, 2020. Super excited to be here and I am so excited to announce that we have a brand new Stitch quarterly subscription. So you guys have been asking for like six months for us to have a cross stitch subscription box and we have put it together. Um, so I'm going to pop up the logo and show you the logo that we came up with. So this is um, the logo you can look for on our site when you sign up. It's obviously a cross stitch box. We're going to ship it quarterly and inside um, what you're going to get is a full color cross stitch pattern. Um, it's going to be designed by It's So Emma Stitchery, which is us. You're going to get the fabric to stitch it on and the floss to complete it. You'll get a, a new or different notion each time, a needle, and a bonus goodie. And um, you'll also get, um, just like you would in Sew Sampler, uh, just like you would in Sew Sampler, you're going to get some coupons. Um, so this is like a sneak peek of the first... Uh, the first one so you can probably figure out what fabric that is and I stitched that I'm so happy that my stitches are straight um, it's $39.98 plus shipping each quarter and um, what we're going to be doing is the patterns that we put in the subscription you're gonna get that 45 days before anybody else so um, it will be available on our site 45 days after that club ships and um, the first one is right here. I'm obviously not going to show it to you guys, but I've spent about, I don't know, 16 hours this week stitching it. I'm almost done. Um, so you can kind of see the colors. That's about all I'm going to show you. Um, it's really cute. Um, obviously, we put a lot of time, months and months and months designing. Um, so the first one ships in March, and the theme is homegrown. The second one is June, and that one's called American Spirit. So it's going to be a theme of America. So if you're from overseas, um, just kind of know that going ahead. September is called Hey Pumpkin. And December is Santa Baby. And big shout out to Jocelyn for um, drawing all of the designs. And Sarah for plugging them in. Cody for doing the graphics. And Denise just putting up with me in general day to day. <laughs> Um, so this has been like a big thing and I would love for you guys to join. Um, we, it's going to be very similar to Sew Sampler. So if you are part of our quilting community, our Sew Sampler is a monthly quilting box and it sells out and has been sold out for a while. So this is going to be the same kind of thing. We have a certain amount that we ordered for March. All those supplies are here, but once that sells out, um, it's going to be the same kind of thing. So if you're interested in joining, I would join now before it sells out. Um, and that's what we have. So let me know if y'all have any questions. Um, one thing I'll say is it's going to be beginner friendly. So the cloth will be different. Sometimes it'll be the same. Sometimes it'll be different. You'll never get the same exact cloth each time. It's not always going to be Ada, but, um, it is going to be very beginner friendly. Um, I can tell you the first set, um, is going to have DMC floss. So, um, that's about what I can tell you. All right. We have a lot of people that have already signed up. Uh, oh. Deb Glassiter is signed up. Pat Thank Bro you. signed up. Gianna Gorsha uh, just signed up. Uh, K Mood signed up. Thank Everyone's you. very excited. Um, Aileen Jackson just signed up. And we have a question from Jaina Glossen saying, what stitch count will the fabric be in the Stitchy Club? So that's what I was talking about. It's going to be all beginner friendly. So um, I can tell you the first month is 14 count. Um, Everything has been planned for the first year. It's all beginner friendly. Um, so there won't be linen or anything like that, but there could be um, um, I'm trying to think of the cloth, what it's even called. Um, anyway, I can't really give it away, but it will be beginner friendly. If I can do it, you can do it because I have bad eyesight. So you're just going to count on the fact that you trust me that you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know if we can answer this, but M. Bailey saying the stitches look so full and pretty. Two strands? Question mark. Yes. Okay. Two strands. And Marsha Freeman was asking what size is the design? The first one is eight inches square. So pretty big. All right. um, it's going to be, I would describe the first design as pretty big, pretty graphic. It would work great in a pillow or finished in a frame we're going to send it off to Priscilla to uh, finish it for us. Um, 
And so what Priscilla will do is, you know, that way um, she usually gets her stuff at Hobby Lobby. So it'll be something easy that um, you guys can do, too. Uh, and then Linda Gillespie had said, uh, so happy for you Flossies, which I think Flossies is just such a cute name. It is. <laughs> Yay. OK, so we came up with that. Um, so super, super excited um, just to announce that finally after working on it forever. We also had a request, you know, we put in that new um, product request system. And so one of the requests that we got was Fabric Flare. So I'm going to, so Fabric Flare, we started a new club and you can sign up for that now. It's just called Fabric Flare 14 Count Ada Monthly Club. Now on that, we're only doing the 14 count. We're not going to do a linen. And the reason why is like when we do the Wichell Club, everyone signed up for Ada and very few signed up for linen. So um, we're just going to do the 14 count. And it's a club where you get a fat quarter of a 14 count Ada every uh, month. It's $22.98 plus shipping. And it ships around the 15th of the month. And if you click on the product, you can see all of the months and exactly what you're going to be getting. So unlike the Stitch Quarterly, where it's a surprise, this is not a surprise. So these are a couple of the months that we have selected. This is March. This is April. July. And August. And so they're all going to be different. They're going to be very neutral based. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about fabric flare. So when we went to needlework market last March, one of the vendors had their fabric and it's really nice. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So this is a fat quarter. It's really big. Ooh. It's actually 18 by 27. So it's huge. So you could get a lot out of this and it's screen printed, but it's beautiful. So like on one side, it's white. And on one side, it's screen printed. And I really like the quality. It's very um, soft, but not too stiff. And I like stitching on it. Um, and so we just started that club. Um, you guys had asked. So we started that. So if you want to join that, that one is already half full. I will tell you that um, we, we launched that last Friday. And it has been, whoo, wow, guys. Thank you for signing up because mm -hmm. that one went quick. quick. Um, so let me know if you have any questions on that. Um, and you can definitely comment and let me know like which one are you most forward to looking forward to if you're one of those people that signed up already because that one went, I mean, we're, we're still gonna have spots and that one we're gonna be able to open up. I'm not sure, um, we'll have to ask the vendor when, but um, that one was really um, quick. All right. Um, people are asking where to sign up. So we're putting those links in the chat for y'all. Um, and just a cool comment from Terry Lane. She said FQS groupie means having the flu for a week, but making my doctor appointment today for after this is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You've got to get some medicine. That sounds <laughs> horrible. Oh, hope you feel better, Terry. Yes, that's oh, I have been we have been so lucky in our house. Nobody has been sick this year. Um, so we have been stitching on Quilty Love. So this is our stitch along. So we'll pop up kind of the, this is the pattern by Lori Holt. And, oh, sorry. that's the winner. There's our winner. I'll just go ahead and announce that. That's Jenny Bodine. She's our winner of the week and she's doing Americana theme. And she's ahead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we're on week three. So we're on that center week. And um, so that's that. This is the pattern and here it is all in real life. So um, I'm just excited that I have stitched ahead of time and I don't have to stitch along. Um, so really loving the fact that everybody has like totally stepped outside of the box and doing their own colors. And I'm gonna be doing something um, this weekend uh, with this where I just do a little portion of it and I'm hoping to have that framed and show you next week. Now, next week's live stream is going to be on Tuesday because Lori Holt is coming to town for a photo shoot for a quilting Ooh. book. So she will be here on Tuesday during the live stream and um, she won't be there sitting in the live stream because she's not like a live person. She doesn't like to do lives, um, but she'll say hi. This is Cody's. And so this is 10 count Lori's cloth. And she is also doing red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue, just like our winner. 
super cute. And then this one is Cheryl's. I'm going to put it below. And then you can see. Ooh. So Cheryl's is on the bottom. And you can see how the color difference really makes a difference. So I've loved seeing everything. And we've got a lot of pictures we're going to pop up to show you. Um, So this is Dot Dot Goose. She's stitching along with us, and that is her cat, Mrs. Gracie, and she's doing hers, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it kind of looks like sunflowers to me, and it kind of looks like Notre Dame colors. So I'm not, colors. It's what? Um, the Green Bay Packers. Oh, Green Bay Packers. Well, that's close. Right. Football team, hey. <laughs> I should have known that. And this is Java Girl Stitches. This is Christy, and she also has a YouTube channel, and Dot Dot Goose has a bag company on Etsy, and these two are BFFs. I love um, her colors here. Super pretty. And then we've got Stitching in the Barn. She also has a YouTube channel, and um, I love that she's stitching this on linen. That looks really good, and I think she's using the original colors, but look at how good it looks so small. And then we've got Tranquil Switches. This is um, Cheryl McKinney, and I love watching her channel. Just I love when I watch her channel. My favorite thing is her intro intro because of her accent. <laughs> and so she's doing Christmas colors, and I love it. And she's also using linen, I think. And this is Miss Mrs. Paulson. And so um, she is a customer and um, she's doing something different in between the rows. Instead of doing Rick Rack, you can see that she is doing um, a satin stitch instead of Rick Rack. And then we've got scrap patches and um, hers is super cute. It looks like she's keeping the same pink and red and then she just changed the aqua. And that's super cute and it looks like she's stitching on 10 count also. And this one, okay, I think she's using Fancy Floss. And this is Ooh. Jana Glosson. And you can see that color variegation, so she must be using some Fancy Floss. I'm not sure which brand. And then T.L. Gibbons is um, stitching hers, and that is super cute. I love the fact that each of the blocks is different. So instead of just using three colors, she's using more than three. Hmm. And this one, isn't it good, right? Yeah. Lisa Piercer and that dog. Oh my gosh, can I have the dog? Can I just have the dog? Pretty She's pretty. Baby. She's like a model dog. Yeah. Looks like Fancy Floss on her, on <laughs> fancy her fur. Fancy Floss dog. Yes. And I love her colors. And this, okay, she's the only person that I've seen stitching on black. It's Fiona's Craft Cottage. And I think that's going to look amazing when it's done. And this is Rose in, Rose in El Elkin, my very first cross stitch, and now I'm hooked. Oh, I love that it's her first. And Katrina Erickson, there's her. She's keeping her colors the same, and it looks like she's stitching on a smaller cloth. It's really cute. And then Laura Rogers Whitfield. Ooh. I know. I was like, Lily's going to love this one. So I she's do. like, it's Teresa Graham, and she's totally done, and she's got. She has got the rig rack on and the buttons, and she is ready to go. So let us know when you have that finished so we can see how you finished it. Ooh. And then Debbie Nicholson. Oh, well, there's another black one with Americana, so I was wrong. Oh. And this is the Academic Stitcher, and she is, like, a big fan, and I love that she's, like, always posting, and I love that black and white. Mm -hmm. And Connie Dunn, super cute. Okay. And Gina Bodine. Yay. Yeah. So um, so let me know if y'all have any questions on Quilty Love, like maybe comment and say which one was your favorite, like what colorway are you loving, um, that kind of thing. Um, it's been really nice to see what everybody's doing. Yes, all right. Denise Henry had a question about uh, the floss for the floss quarterly. She said, will the floss be fancy floss or DMC? It will, we're starting off with DMC. You know, it could change in the future, but I would just count on mostly being DMC. Um, that was the way that we could keep our cost down and um, we have a little bit more flexibility with DMC being able to obtain the floss and keeping the cost down of the subscription. All right. Um, and then Veronica Stevens wanted to know, can I use the white tube frames instead of hoops? I think she means the Q-snaps. 
Yes. If she can use that instead oh, of Oh, yes, yes. So I used to, when I first started like a year ago, getting back into cross-stitch, because I've cross-stitched since I was like 10, uh, I was using Q-snaps. And then Priscilla and Chelsea like showed me how to do stitch in hand, and I started doing that. But yes, I like Q-snaps. All right. Um, Peach had a great comment. She said, now I'm singing, Lori Holt is coming to town. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm going to be singing that all day. That's going to be the theme. Yeah, so she's coming in, guys, Friday night. So I'm going to a dance convention. Emma has a solo uh, Friday at 11 a.m. I'm not sure who runs these things or who thinks of these things. So I'm actually um, driving Thursday night to Houston. Um, and she's coming in Sunday, so I will get to see her Monday morning. Mm-hmm. But yes, I'm like, I don't, we don't need a solo. I'm like, what are we going to do all day? Like, no. I would have not <laughs> signed up if I knew. That's funny. Uh, Pat Pro says she was Scrap Patches, and thanks for the shout out. Yay! Great job, Pat. Um, and then Verena Hugo says, sorry for the name. She, hers was uh, Rosen, I'm going to try, Rosen Senchen. It means small rose island in German. Oh, my goodness. So her real name's Verena Hugo. Well, I tried to say it. Lily's really good at the names. I'm I, really I also stumbled. But that it's was a hard also, one. like, more obvious because I'm sitting here and you can see my lips. <laughs> and she can practice because she can see it a couple minutes before me. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, and then question from Joe and Linda Fram. Uh, I am so a beginner. I thought you started in the middle, and these don't look like they're starting in the middle. So, um, like, if you were a cross-stitcher in the 80s, they always would say um, cross-stitch in the middle. And when they used to have um, people who, on like, okay, let's think back in the 80s, guys. PBS, the people who would teach you how to cross-stitch on PBS, I used to watch them in the 80s. And they always said start in the middle. Um, but nowadays, um, people start wherever. I usually start, start top left. For example, the stitch quarterly, when I started my design, I started in the top left. And I started about an inch and a half from the edge. And I try to give at least two inches all the way around. Um, but you can start wherever. Um, that's kind of just um, as long as you just figure out like what your finish size should be and add to that, then you should be good. All right. And Christine Garner was asking, how long does the stitch along last? Oh, I don't know. You want to pull that picture yes, up? I, I think it's three more weeks. I don't remember the exact date, so we can pull it up. And then that way I won't give you the wrong answer. So can you read that, Lily? February 12th is the last day. Thanks, Denise, because I could not read that. Yeah, we're, we're blind over here. <laughs> I'm definitely blind. <laughs> okay. Uh, Caroline Winter was asking, will more patterns be available as downloads in the future? For PDFs, um, if the vendors allow us to do PDFs, we will. Um, we have chosen on Cross Stitch to just not do that at this time just because for financial reasons um but you know we could change our mind in the future we do our quilting patterns um on pdf but um to be able to pay for the like we have to order so much paper um so we have to be able to sell through that paper i know it sounds kind of funny but it's just a financial thing right now and we might you know it depends how well it sells if it starts selling like crazy yes maybe we could in the future and um, so if you have been a fan or have been watching, um, we did a big stitch along in December and it was called um, Christmas Alphabet. And so I have mine finished. Um, Priscilla and Chelsea finished theirs. I was gonna show you Cheryl's. So this is Cheryl's Christmas Alphabet. She stitched it on historic beige 32 count even weave. Isn't it pretty? so pretty so I did mine on black she did hers on cream Lori did hers more on a brown so pretty so so when Cheryl finishes it we'll bring it and so you can see it all finished up and then okay so first I'm gonna pop up an image that's gonna show you okay so Lori this is how creative Lori is she bought this basically she took her cross stitch with her to hobby lobby um, knowing what size it was and she got this sign at hobby lobby and painted it picket fence with her paint we sell her paint it's called chalky chicks paint um and so she used matte board from the framing section for the stitch piece and the fabric and this is how she turned that into this oh isn't it beautiful so um 
this right here, this this is a fabric. Let me see what. So this is one of her uh, B Basics fabrics. And so that's how you can get really creative, um, just finding a wood piece. And so she painted it, and you can see that she antiqued it. Like after she painted it, she used, um, she antiqued it slightly. And on the back of the frame, we think the SKU number is 1465939, if you want to find this at Hobby Lobby. So it's so pretty. So thank you for showing that to us. So let me know if you have any questions on anything I've shown so far before I keep going. Uh, Priscilla and Chelsea said, beautiful Cheryl for oh. Cheryl's piece. Yes, she used the called for colors in the original pattern. All right, and Tina Rudin was asking, and you don't grid the fabric beforehand, right? I don't grid the fabric. So when I first started getting back into cross stitch, I'm a big fan of Reddit, um, which is like a, I don't know, what you would describe it as but it's basically you can just go and you can follow things you like so you can follow quilting or cross stitch or pictures of dogs or true crime or you know whatever you're interested in so it's a way for me to know what's going on in the world but filter it so that i don't have to see all the negativity coming in because i do not like um, all that so um one of the things that i kept seeing on my cross stitch um, search was like this gridding so I was like well maybe I'm missing out and I even remember asking Cheryl like two years ago do you grid like this is this thing and she was like no I don't do that she was like I don't know what you're talking about so it's like a thing that people do and they grid every 10 they grid their fabric so I thought well I'm gonna try it so I can show it on floss tube and I tried it for about five minutes and was like yeah no thanks um, it was just it pulled the holes bigger and so I felt like it was gonna distort my piece um, but there are some, if you want to know about gridding, um, there are lots of YouTubers out there who have done videos on it. It's just kind of not for me. Like, I just didn't, I didn't really feel it. So I don't ever want to get on a channel and, like, pretend I know something that I don't. For me, it was just, um, I felt like it was going to distort my the holes in my piece. And I'm a little OCD, so I was, like, I'm not having that. All right. Uh, Leisha Marie was asking, how do we tag you so we can show you our work? You just... You can use the hashtag or you can just do at Fat Quarter Shop. Yes. Right, Lily? Or at FQS X Stitch on Instagram. Okay. Um, and then and these hashtags that we're popping up for you right now um, on the screen, if you use them um, on your Instagram and Facebook, we can find you. Yeah, because we go through and that's how we find our like pictures that we show. Yes. And if you're not already a member of Kimberly Stitch Squad Facebook group, that is another way. Yeah. So we have a Facebook group. It's all about positivity. If... Um, that's all we're about so if we see like if you get on there and you start doing negative stuff i'm just going to take you out and i'm not going to feel sorry for it at all because i don't like negative people i don't like negative energy i don't like any of that so i want all of you guys to come and just share all your stuff it's really fun to get in there and see everything that people do i mean right now like there's a lot of quilting there's a lot of cross stitch and um even sometimes people will show crochet which is really cool so it's just a crafty place to like um encourage people and just really you know see what other people are doing and love it and we're not there to critique anybody or to say oh i don't like that color that's not what we're about there so it's just all about fun and positivity yes yeah, supporting each other all right uh pat dearth says when does the first quarterly cross stitch club ship love your shop and videos kimberly march 4th oh i was gonna say fifth i was close march 4th, march 4th. my birthday's march 7th so it's close we're gonna celebrate my birthday with it Woo. All right. Um, Deanna Stoudenberg was asking if I cross stitch. Not yet. She That's tried it. I tried it. I liked it. I just, I tend to bite off more than I can chew with everything I do. She starts too hard. Yeah. I start too hard and I try to, like, I'm trying to do that and, like, sew a quilt and sew a dress and fix up my house. Like, I'm trying to do too many things. And she, like, will be like, oh, I'm going to make a quilt. Okay. Like, I'm not going to make a baby quilt. I'm going to make a twin or a queen. I don't do small. Yeah. So <laughs> I take on way too much. So that's why. So uh, Bloomtopia is about to start. And I wanted to just like say a huge thank you. We're now at 15157 and 99 cents. Whoa. So we raised in the last week $3,000, which is so amazing. Um, we're trying to get to 30000 from our customers. And then Kevin and I are going to give 10000 
Um, Mark Dunn from Moda Fabrics is going to give ten thousand. We're going to get to fifty thousand, and then we have told Kevin he has to get on live stream when we get to fifty. So yes, and he was like, "Why didn't you tell people I was going to do that?" I was like, "You said you would," um, but we'll we'll see. So uh, Bloomtopia is going. Bloomtopia is the way that we're raising money for Make a Wish. Here is our beautiful piece that I stitched, and Priscilla finished it for me. And uh, it is going to be a free sew along. It starts February 1st. It's going to go through June. And each, every, on the 1st and the 15th, we're going to give parts of it. It's completely free, guys. Um, and then we just ask that if you, you know, if you have $15 to give $15 to make a wish so that we can um, raise money for make a wish. And so we're just saying grab your supplies. It's really been fun to see um, what everybody's grabbing. Um, and getting so this is our 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 fill pack our dmc pack and that is what i used the dmc the fabric that i used is 25 count lugana and pewter and we have these cute little bags to carry your stuff in and so i just wanted to show you some images that we're going to pop up to show you what other people are doing so that you don't have to feel like you have to do it in my colors and um, what we do the the charity event we've been doing this for years and years and years we have a quilt that we do for charity and that's um we always tried to to raise a lot of money but we thought well we can bring cross stitch in it so to pick our floss we matched it to our quilt um and that's how we came up with our floss but i was going to show you how other people have come up with their stuff so this is jan hicks creates she also has a youtube channel um, she does lots of um, really cool things that are harder so if you're looking to challenge yourself and she's using Weeks Dye Works, and those colors are fabulous. And she does a lot of tutorials on hers. Marsha Baker, and um, she got a gift certificate from her Ooh. daughter, and this is what she got. Ooh. And so she's got some Bloomtopia, she's got some quilting, she's got some triangles on a roll, she's got a grab it. Super cute. She's all ready. And then this is R.M.W. Gersh, and so it looks similar. She might have added a little purple. And that gray cloth is pretty. And then we've got Caro CJS from North Carolina. And so she looks like she's going to be doing the quilt and the cross stitch. So that's super amazing. So you can see that the, the box on the left is um, how our quilt kit comes. And then the box on the right is how the backing comes. And then you can see her um, floss and her bag that she's got. So she's ready to stitch. And this is Flamingo Tango, and those colors are really pretty. I love that navy and the blue. Those are really pretty. It's also an amazing Instagram name. I love it. And then, oh, this is Stitching in the Barn. She also, she's one of our stitchers, um, also with Quilty Love, and she has got a YouTube channel, and so she's going to be stitching with us. And this is the Red Thimble, and I think she's sticking with our colors, and I'm not sure about the cloth, but that's really pretty. She's ready to go. And this is Allegro Stitches. She's stitching on 32 count vintage Stormy Night Lugana. And um, she's got similar colors. Um, it looks like she's added in some purple. It looks really, it's gonna be really pretty. There we go. So that's, um, so we hope that you're gonna stitch along with us. Um, and all the information, if you um, want to find all the information on what sorry all the information on what you need to stitch along all that information is on the blog so if you're somebody who's like i really need to pick colors in person and you need to go to your local needlework store or michael's to pick your floss that's totally okay um we just would love for you to give the 15 dollars to make a wish but all of the requirements on what you would need the size the finished size all of that is on our blog so that you can be ready to stitch with us on february 1st all right liz sala says for those who donated how will we receive the patterns Oh, okay, everything is going to be released on our blog. And so you can find the links there and we'll have some landing pages that are there. Um, and then we will be talking about it on February 1st. So, you know, if you have any questions, you can always ask us either live or later and we'll answer. Ashley will answer you. Yes. Lois Stoll says, can I donate to Bloomtopia on the website? So yes, um, one of us can answer below and we'll give you a link and that money mm -hmm. goes directly to Make-A-Wish. Um, we never see the money, it goes directly there. We've already um, granted one wish and so we're hoping um, that they um, we can get to five is our goal for this year. All right. Um, 
<laughs> Saskia says, oh gosh, hi, I'm Flamango Tango. Oh, hi, Saskia. Hi. Great work. Um, and Janae Combs was just saying, uh, at Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, I love the Facebook group. It has helped me so much with cross stitch and quilting. Thank you. Yes. And so it's really good because so many of us will just answer. And I, one of my favorite things on the Stitch Squad is when people put like two quilting fabrics or something and they'll say which one for the back or and then you can like interact and it's funny because when i answer half the time when i answer i answer something like i don't pick the popular piece so i'm like i must be really bad at picking stuff because i always pick the one that nobody else picks all right and laura whitfield was asking will the chart be released in pieces or all at once in pieces and so like the way it'll be released is piece one and then when piece two comes out it's going to show piece one and piece two and then when piece three comes out it's going to have one two and then three that kind of thing and then at the very end in june you could get the whole chart and it's it's going to stay free forever um we're just hoping to use the money for make a wish so valentine's day is coming up and so denise and i decided to get crafty over here mm. and so we put this video on our channel if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel we would love for you to subscribe we have a video on how you can make this pillow and i just want to say thanks guys because y'all have sent the most positive comments to me on making this pillow mm -hmm. and i was so nervous making it and i was like oh my gosh it's not perfect and you guys made me feel so good by putting all those really nice comments, which really, really is nice. Yay. Yay. And so um, there's this, and we have a kit for this. The kit is just a cross-stitch kit. It doesn't have the fabric or anything. And then um, Denise stitched this. This is called Lovebirds. Oh. It's cute, right? It's so pretty. And we're sold out of the kit until about Monday because you guys bought all the kits so fast. So we should have kits on Monday. So those are the two new things we did for Valentine's Day this year. And then last year, Shelby stitched this for us. Mm. And this is Quaker Heart by the Stitcher Hood. And we have the pattern and we have some kits. So pretty. And just because, I mean, Denise and I just must love Valentine's Day. <laughs> We're also going to be doing a kit of this. This is Love mm. Whirly Gig by Heart and Hand. 14 count oatmeal, vintage, this, it's Lori's cloth. So this is a 14 count Ada and, oh, sorry, 14 count Ada. And so she's stitching it, super, super cute. We'll have a kit available soon. You're almost done. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. I think I'm gonna make it too. Cause you know, I gotta make everything. So I would love to know like, do you like Valentine's day? Do you celebrate? Do you decorate your house for Valentine's Day? You know, which one of these do you like the best? I don't know. Just fun stuff. Uh, yeah, we're getting lots of love in the comments uh, for the video that you did on the pillow. Uh, lots of uh, people being thankful that you did the binding part in the video. They really appreciated that. Um, and let's see. Uh, Sherry Ainsworth was asking, when you do six trans, do you separate them first? I don't. Okay. You're supposed to, but I don't. I'm lazy about that. All right. And Delinda Garcia Cooner was asking, have you heard of monk fabric for Swedish weave? So I've heard of monk fabric, um, but we don't stock it. I think it's kind of, I think it might be even looser than um, the 10 count. But yeah, I don't know much about it. Um, Colleen Isaac was asking, is it still necessary to count up, down, etc. in the cloth, or can you just start in one corner? I just start in one corner. I just make sure that my cloth is big enough before I start. Right. Oh, we have a lot of love for Valentine's Day. Uh, Leisha Marie says she got married around Valentine's Day. That's really special. Yay! I got married on February first. So my oh, let's see what year. Very are we close. In? What year are we in, Lily? Oh, it's twenty twenty. So seventeen years <laughs> coming up. Wow. I know. I'm getting old. <laughs> That's so special, though. Um, Denise Henry said, just signed up for Floss Stitch Quarterly Box. Can't wait to see uh, what it'll be bringing. Who will the designer for the It's So I'm a Cross Stitch Patterns be? So it's us as a team. Um, we basically do an internal Pinterest board, something like that. And I send ideas. Everybody sends ideas. And then Jocelyn draws them up like she's an artist, like she can really draw. And then we uh, take that and then um, Sarah figures out how to grid it. So it's like a big team effort, big team effort. 
Oh, <laughs> confetti cannon for your many years oh. of marriage. And happy anniversary to anyone else's. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be Valentine's out of town. Day-ish. I realized I'm going to be out of town on my anniversary for like, I don't know how many years because she's going to some dance oh. convention, but it's fine. He'll probably come to the hotel. We'll see. Oh. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, Catherine McMillan was asking, can people in the UK join in with Bloomtopia? Yes, yes. And you can donate. Um, yes. All right. Oh, Lois Stoll says, thanks for the donation page. Donated $25. Have a happy day. Thank, Thank you, you, Lois. We hope everyone here has a happy day, too. Yes. So um, I, last week, I just wanted to show you, I um, showed these. These are, these are, they were, they came out like a long time ago, but we really liked them. Somebody requested them in our product requests. And so they're called months of the year. And in each pack, you get two months, two patterns, and you get the floss. Super cute, right? Mm -hmm. So Cheryl decided to go home and already start them. So look at this. She got these Friday. We are on Wednesday. Let's just be real here. Is it upside down? Let me see. No, you have it right. Okay. So she's got January completely done. And February is more than half done. And she started on Friday. So guys, it is so cute. I love it. And she has stitched on 32 count vintage country mocha Lugana, and she's using the fancy floss that comes in the pack. So that is so awesome. They're so pretty. It makes me want to like hurry up. Um, I haven't, the only reason I haven't started is because um, I've been doing the, um, the club, stitching the club. So that's super cute. And then we have some new items. I'm just gonna show you a bunch of new items. So when I was in, where'd I go? Branson, Missouri this summer, I went to a store. I can't think of the name right now, but I went to a store and they had these patterns. And they're, they're different, um, they're, the, they're the four seasons. And I bought them all because I liked them. And they're the pattern and then this one, they come with the floss and it is a bell swass. So it's silk floss. I've never used it, um, but like one has blue. The other two I can't show because it sh the pattern is open um, towards the back. So these are these have come in and I'm definitely stitching these. Um, I love them. And so we, um, we just waited until Little House could fill the order for us since they were silk, but that is, they're beautiful. Those came in yesterday. And then we got in our product request a lot of requests for larger pieces and smaller counts. So this is just an example of one. This is 32 count platinum that we got, but we got a lot of them. We got a lot of different um, pieces in. So if you're looking and in, in our site, you can search by size and count. And then we have some new patterns. This is Bed and Breakfast by The Little Stitch Girl. And I've already, this is part of her new series. So she has a video on this that I watched. Um, she has a new series. It's gonna be a Valentine, Valentine, Halloween series. <laughs> I can't remember all the details, but it's a lot of patterns. So, so this is her first release in that. Shannon Christine always has cute stuff. So this is, Fresh Cut Roses, there's three patterns. So I'm gonna show you the three and then I'm gonna show you how you can finish it. Or four. Four, yeah, four. But if you wanna make it into one piece, oh. really pretty, right? Yeah. Totally my colors, totally match my house. And then she has some new ones. This is a craft room. Excuse the mess. Oh. And just craft room. Cute, so right? So just some new things that we have, um, and I hope that I have inspired your stitching. Um, uh, so let me know like what questions you guys have. Um, just remember, um, we do have some more shout outs, but um, next live stream is going to be next Tuesday with Lori in the background. All right. Um, a lot of people are wondering, uh, what does Cheryl uh, stitch on, like a Q-snap or a hoop or stitch in hand, and what is her secret to stitching so fast? Okay, so what we're, Denise is gonna walk to her desk and get her <laughs> hoop. Um, she uses a special hoop. We do sell it, um, but it's different than, um, and I don't know how she stitches so fast. 
first of all, she has amazing eyesight. Um, she doesn't use a, she doesn't use, she does use a light. I don't remember exactly which one, but she doesn't use a magnifier. I use magnifier on 14 count. She's over here stitching on 32 count with, and she's fast, um, but we'll show you the hoop. Denise went to get it, uh, but she just stitches so fast. Cause I, when Denise told me this morning, um, she already did it. I said, when did you get it? And then I heard Cheryl in the background cause I had called on the way. I always call Denise on the way to work cause I get here literally five minutes before the live stream starts. And Cheryl said, oh, I bought him Friday. <laughs> All right. Uh, Denise had said it's a spring tension, spring tension Frank Edmonds hoop. Uh, and uh, Ashley's saying that Cheryl stitches at least five hours a day. Oh, well, there you go. So it's this and then like you put it in the. Do you want to put my fabric? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, you use that. I use. She, so Denise was using this. Do you like it, Denise? Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to do it on the tape. Okay. And you can see the hoop mark. It's tough on Ada. Mm. It's harder to do on Ada is what. Did I? Oh. Did I do it right, Denise? Yes, that's how I do it. But I think you're supposed to put this at the top, but whatever. Oh. Whatever. They even look super cute. It's cute, right? Um. Five hours a day. Oh, sorry, Cheryl. She's gonna watch this later. Sorry. <laughs> Dropped your hoop. Oh man, yeah. Getting lots of love for Cheryl. Uh, Gabriel Fuentes says Cheryl's nickname is Super Stitcher. Yes, she shall henceforth she is be like, known as the Super Stitcher. I feel like I do like so. I went to dance convention this weekend and I stitched seven hours on Saturday and then I think maybe six on Sunday, and I still didn't finish the charity. I was I'm not the charity. The um the new stitchy the new stitch subscription box. I was stitching it and I was supposed to be done on Monday and I didn't finish. I just have a little bit, I have like that much left. And I'm like fast, but Cheryl, she could probably do circles around me. All right, uh, got a few cute comments here. Kim West said, my anniversary is the 2nd of February, so we gener generally celebrate both together. This year's my 25th. Congratulations. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. Um, confetti cannon for you. And Peach says, oh, I use those hoops, too. I feel like a pro using what Cheryl uses. Yes. That's great. All right. And then we have a question from Mary Keenan. She says, what can you tell us about Cross Stitch Market? I have seen lots on Quilt Market, but since returning to Cross Stitch last summer, I had never heard of Cross Stitch Market. So Cross Stitch is it's called Needlework Market, and it's just for store owners, store owners. So like with quilting, what they do is they have a quilt market for store owners and they have a quilt festival for consumers um for needlework market they don't but there are some bigger shows around the u.s um that you can go to and i can't think of the name of the one but there's one that's really big that you can go to so maybe we can maybe priscilla can you tell me Just email me something on that and then i can tell everybody what to go to um so needlework market is march 7th it's actually on my birthday this year Denise and Cheryl will be going because I will be at a dance convention uh, because, like I say, my kids come first uh, and uh, they'll be, I'll just be texting the whole time. <laughs> be like, show me this, go to this room, show me this, <laughs> buy this, buy this. Um, but it'll be okay. I mean, I will be sad to miss, but it's, it's, you know, she's mm -hmm. already 12. Wow. I only have like six more years. Wow. Karen Cox says, what fabric would you use on the four patterns, summer, winter, etc.? I do not cross stitch, but those were awesome. Could be a reason to start. Yes. Um, I think I would do vintage country mocha 14 count, but let's read what she says. Okay, fabric suggestion, and I'm not pulling it out because I don't want you to see the chart. It says fabric suggestion, sorry, my words are not coming out correctly today. I really apologize, guys. Fabric suggestion, 30 count cocoa from Weeks Dye Works. Stitch the design with two strands of floss over two threads. Stitch count 87 by 87. So we don't have that, um, um, we don't have that fabric, 30 count by weeks but 
And at the store, they didn't have um, the store um, that I, I did, they didn't have them stitched up or anything like that at the store. All right. I'm seeing a lot of people who are also saying they've started cross stitch recently. So congrats to you. Yes. It's and good then, to just have something to do. Yeah. And then we also have uh, more anniversaries that I would just like to shout out. Christine Gardner, uh, 27 years on January 25th. And then Cindy Vat, 43rd year this oh, year. That's goodness. amazing, you guys. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 47 years for Karen Tingstad. Wow. Oh, my goodness. On Valentine's Day. That, oh, my gosh. That just warms my heart. Yeah, see, I don't get to get, I actually don't get any gifts, but that's okay. I really don't, I really don't care. But um, when we used, when we were, like, younger and we did do that, I would get one. And I'm like, you can't combine them. You can't do that. <laughs> now I get nothing. And that's okay. I really, I mean, all I really want is, like, my kids. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Doreen Deskin had said Galleria is the consumer market. Okay. Galeria, sorry. Okay. So yeah, I don't know much about it. Um, I just shop here. <laughs> like if I if I want to send her Valentine's Day, I would just tell Kevin, go to Denise's office. She can kit something for. Her. Oh, Which, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like great. I'm, I'm buying send them for myself. No. Uh, for free. <laughs> that's great. Um, Janae Combs said, uh, "Does Kim really have any recommendations on Kim keeping the tension equal when stitching in hand?" So I try to never stitch if I'm having a bad day or if I'm stressed or if I feel tension, you know, I, if I have tension like right here in my back or my shoulders. Um, and so um, I do try to, if I'm stressed, I won't stitch. Um, but I just try to, when I pull the thread through, I try not to yank it. I try to just make sure it lies flat and um, just, that's why also why I don't go so fast. Because if I go too fast, my stitches are just... Um, not they don't lie flat i guess but i'm um, just you know and i think it's just practice like practice makes perfect and i've just gotten better at it i mean but honestly if priscilla and chelsea weren't like you can do it you can do it like tell me 20 times one time chelsea told me you're kimberly jolly you can do it and i was like okay you're right i'm kimberly jolly i can do it Aww. like it took like somebody telling me yes you can do it you can do it and it has been helpful because then i don't have to have all that extra stuff mm -hmm. all right do you want to do shout outs yeah all right. Okay, so Karen Rollins emailed me, and she just got back into cross stitch, and she just finished this, so I wanted to show it. Um, we don't sell the pattern, but I believe it's a Dimensions or something like that, and I think she got it at Michael's. It's really pretty. And then I just want to give a big, big shout out to Tonja Kelvington. She's always an inspiration. Um, she is a quilter and she does really cute stuff and she posted this this weekend and she basically put part of a chart into a mug rug and I thought it was really cute and I just wanted to show you guys but she does great quilting stuff um and uh Denise is telling me that the Santa is from the gold collection yay All right. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of anniversaries with very high numbers up there, so I'm just going to shout all of you out right now and give you a big confetti can, and congrats to everyone. I thought the funniest one was from Amy Clayton, who said, I was married on Leap Day in 2000. My fifth anniversary is this year. Oh, my gosh. That's okay, hilarious. so Kevin's sister, his middle sister, is born, I think, on Leap Day. Oh, that's great. And she, I'm pretty sure, and she's, like, complains about it all the time. So yeah, you're, well, they're not that old. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, okay, and then Angela Stoudenberg said, cross-stitching keeps her hands busy so she doesn't snack. Really helps. She lost 44 pounds the last year and a half. Oh, my That's goodness. That's incredible. Congratulations, Angela. That's what I need to do. But see, I need to carry my cross-stitch in my, in my, in my kitchen. Because you know what my kids did? They went and bought Girl Scout cookies. Ooh. I was like, no, don't buy them because I will eat them. Yes. And then, okay, so then the other day... Piggy, I take him to daycare every day. I know it's ridiculous. Don't tell me, but I love my dog. So I was putting him in the car, and when I put him in the car, I put a little blanket down so he doesn't scratch my car, and I don't want his dog hair everywhere. And in the bottom, like where your feet go, there was a box of Girl Scout cookies just chilling in my car. I was like, <laughs> what? So I think Emma had them when I took her to school, and she was going to take them, and she forgot. And I was like, not only do we have Girl Scout cookies hiding in Kevin's office downstairs, <laughs> all over our house, and there's one box left. 
Oh. So, we're going to have to get more. Yes. I love Girl Scout cookies. Me too. I used to be a Girl Scout. My funny story is, I used to be a Girl Scout. Um, I do not like to be outside. That is like a thing. I don't want to camp. I don't want to be outside. I don't like it. When I was a little kid, I would sit in the house. I would never go to my friend's house. I just couldn't do it. I hated to go outside. So my parents used to send me to the Girl Scout camp. That was torture and hell. Oh. But I liked being a Girl Scout, but I didn't want to do any of the stuff. I didn't want to swim. <laughs> I didn't want to camp. I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to do anything. So I just, I hated it, Mom. I know you may, I know, and, and I would beg her to go. And she would have to save her money, and then I would hate it. And she's like, oh, my gosh, you're going <laughs> to you're gonna make us broke. That's hilarious. It was not funny then. And they had nasty food, and they didn't have tea. Oh, no tea. That's the deal. Breaker. I've always been a tea person. Um, what's your favorite flavor Girl Scout cookie? Oh, okay. The chocolate peanut butter. The oh, peanut butter with the chocolate. That's Cruz's favorite. I will eat a whole box. Yeah. Like if there's a box, I will eat all of them. Yeah. Mine's the, uh, they used to be called Samoa's. Now they're Caramel Delights. Yes. Yes. Those Chris- are my favorite. Christopher brought me one to my office the other day. Oh. I was like, what is this? He's like, it's a cookie for you. I was like, okay. That's adorable. I like the peanut butter patties too. Do you like those? Yeah. And I that's like pretty... all of them. It's a, the, I don't do mint with chocolate, but that's just me. Oh, Kevin bought five boxes from Cody. <laughs> five, right? Four. Four boxes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I bought five. And he will hide them in his desk. That's great. Uh, yes, comment below your favorite flavor of Girl Scout cookies. And we have some people um, who don't know what Girl Scout cookies are. Okay, okay. So Girl Scout cookies are, <laughs> okay, so um, Girl Scouts are obviously like a, it's like a civic organization and it's a way for you to join and you can earn badges so you can learn how to sew or you can learn how to camp or light a fire or, um, you know, donate your time to charity. You get these badges. Well, so they need to make money so they... Um, it was early. The lady who did it, it was way early. So there's two bakeries. Um, so depending on where you live in the United mm-hmm. States, you can get different flavors. I do know that. And so that's how they make money. It's $4 a box. And the Girl Scouts sell them. So around here, like they'll go to Walmart mm-hmm. or Target or Randall's, H-E-B. Um, the other day, Emma said something like, oh, did you see the Girl Scouts? I didn't even see them. I was like, where? Um, but but different businesses will let them, you know, sit outside and sell their cookies, and that's how they raise money. And then they raise money to be able to go to, like, the camp thing that I hated or things like that or trips. or. But it's a very good. It's similar to the Boy Scouts, and the Boy Scouts sell popcorn. So did you know that? It's no, expensive popcorn. Know. Don't ever buy it because it's really <laughs> expensive. One time we bought it, and Kevin and I were like, we just, we just, that was a lot of, we were like, it's not like the Girl Scouts where you get really good cookies. That's great. Um Pro tip from Gabriel Fuentes, he says, freeze the Thin Mints before you eat them. That's what Kevin does. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Um, Cheryl Plourd had a question. She says, if the pattern calls for classic color works and FQS is selling DMC, is there a conversion on the pattern for the colors? For, it depends who the designer is or the pattern is. So some designers will list both. Some don't, and there is not an official DMC conversion chart just because um, Classic Color Works is more of like an art, and they don't want you to ever get it and think, okay, that doesn't match, because it's not supposed to be a match. It's supposed to be a variegated look. Um, so there's not like an official conversion, but we do sell both. Yay, so guys, have a great week. Um, if you are um, across the district, we would love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Right, bye, everyone.